Hi everyone, Saturday the 1st of August, um, I'm at home, obviously, I haven't shown you my tomatoes, I don't think I've shown you them until I put them in the pots and the grow bags, not too sure, but I'm going to show you around in the garden at home, a few things to show you, nothing much going on, but um, obviously I want to show you my tomato, I don't talk with my hands a lot when I'm on these, you know when you watch your videos back, right, okay, I'll show you around, first of all I want to show you my final final bulb of garlic because I've obviously got the stuff at, home, at the greenhouse and it's still it's just maybe going a bit soft so basically if I start using the stuff at the greenhouse now then I haven't bought garlic now since God, last year isn't it obviously it's, it's lasted if that makes sense right now then Show you around in the garden. Let's close that over. Um, we've had a beautiful show of lilies. They're all falling back now. Um, but absolutely gorgeous, as they were, you know, when they were in full show. Really good. Okay, right. All of my um, herbs, the thyme. He's, he's done brilliantly, considering these were all cuttings, they were one that I'd split down, if you remember last year they were in that bed and I split them all down, split one down into four and look at the size of them now and look at this, this oregano, it's just about to flower and when you take that, it's gorgeous in, in tomato dishes and they're almost always ready at the same time tomatoes and oregano which is perfect um, rosemary, which isn't my favourite, but is the one that grows the best. If you can't grow, grow grow rosemary, you need to throw the towel in because it's so easy. It's dead easy. Fennel, which is not tall. You can leave that in, that dies back. It's a perennial, so it'll keep coming back and back, but it gets crazy tall. So I dig them up and restart them every couple of years. Sage is just flowering now, which attracts loads of bees. It kicks out some gorgeous flowers. Again, I'm not a flower man, and you know, I don't grow flowers, but you know some of the stuff I do grow that kicks flowers out. Tarragon, gorgeous anisida, and I cut the thing is right back about three weeks ago. The chives, and they've now shot back up again because they had rust all over them. So I cut it right back, and, it, and they grow again, which is really good. Thumbs flying on now, ready for next year. Then I'm going to get a bumper crop off them. If it's anything like Stevens next door, who I've got these off, then I'm going to get some great strawberries. But I'll obviously get, have to get a cover on it. Okay, one of my success stories of the year. My gooseberries. I've just, you just can't believe it. And I, We're talking nearly every single truss. You know, and these are the sweet variety, these. They're not as big as the sour variety. The sour varieties are... Look at all these. <laughs> just tons of them. I mean, I can't even begin to show you how many's on because there's just that many. These are the green ones. Hinokaname, I think they're called. I, I think these things originate from the Orient, you know, the, like Japanese or, or Chinese. People might be able to help me with that. And these are the... Ow! Sheepers, I've just pricked myself. These are the red ones again, tons on. This is a smaller bush because I moved it. It's not kicked out as much as what the red bush has. But look at all of them. <laughs> and they're absolutely gorgeous. You can eat them straight off. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to cook them with tons of sugar like the old fashioned variety that they grow up in Yorkshire. Okay. Beautiful, a success story. And that's because I've had the cover on. Um, and I didn't get hit by a gooseberry saw flight. You need to tidy enough of it, which is what I'm in the process of doing now. Sunflower competition. Jack's the winner. Sorry, Lotte. Maybe next year, you love. Okay, all the lettuce is gone. It all bolted. I'm going to put some more in. And I might just throw some rocket in. You know, how much lettuce can you eat? You know, we're saying this now. When you watch these back in October and there's no tin ground. Parsley. Did all right, it's all going a bit yellow now. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I might plant some more, see if I can get away with it. Okay guys, here we go. The start of the show. My tomatoes. You're just not gonna believe 
I'm many Tom's that I've got on here. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all this year because, well, the kids do eat them, but it's mainly me that eats them, you know. But I, I will, the kids do try them. So, right. It, again, ink grow bags with perlite and uh, composting pots, and then obviously I've just planted them in and know where they're going. And just, I can't, you know, you're not going to get it all on camera. You, it's just tons and tons and tons and tons of tomatoes. I mean, look at these. Absolutely tons of them. I'll try and get out here and show you the, try and get around here and show you the size of the um, beef steaks. You know, absolutely brilliant. So I've been spraying them with Epsom salts and aspirin fortnightly intervals. I'll show you that. I'll do a video of that, me doing that. I mean, the size of some of these trusses on these cerise, these are the cerise ones. I've got two cerise, that's Aruga, Aruga. Aruga, Aruga, that sounds like something off the bloody Flintstone. Aruga, Aruga. <laughs> so I've never tried this Cerise or these Arugas, but they look really good. Them Cerise look really good. Now, again, that's thank you to um, to Grumpy Poo, Eileen. Um, some Gardener's Delight. And I've got some Alicante. Now, I went away to Abbasock the other week, and I, what I did, I just left the greenhouse open. And it was really hot and it, I've come back and that one has died because it had just flopped and oh, the, the grow bags were all so dry. I mean bone dry, dusty dry. But everything else seems to have survived. But yeah, the size of some of these trusses on these arugas, uh, I, it just kicking out, it's stopping me getting in the greenhouse, but that's just the nature of the... Okay, so these are all going to start ripening soon. I've got a couple on the bottom. I've just started now. You can see them, so I'm expecting a great crop. Okay guys, that's it. 2015 update to my tomatoes. It's gonna to be a great crop. Okay guys, speak to you all soon.